Well, what's going on YouTube? This is what Josh do, and this is yet another exciting video. So I ordered the dock for the charger, and if you've been following me on X, formerly known as Twitter, or my Instagram, or even my YouTube community page, you know that this Anchor Prime 12,000 mAh, 65 watt input and output, 130 watts output total is currently one of my favorite power banks because I love this freaking thing. And when I do run out of the 12,000 milliamp hours, I plug a USB-C cable into it and it charges at 65 watts and it's done so fast. Like it's fully charged in 40, 45 minutes. Like it is, it is such a great power bank. And this is going to be the ultimate right here. This is gonna make it even freaking better because check this out this is a charging base and there's three different power banks you've got this little 12,000 guy you've got a 200 watt guy and then you've got that big boy the massive the 250 watt boy you you uh can charge all three of them using this guy one at a time of course so anchor prime fast charging for apple samsung lenovo hp more multi-device fast charging 100 watt three usb ports it's got 100 watt output, pogo pin, there's some compatibility information. We have the inputs and outputs there. So the USB-C port can do up to 20 volts and 5 amps, which is 100 watts. The second USB-C port can only do 20 volts at 1.5 amps for 30 watts. The USB-A output can do 12 volts at 1.5 amps for 18 watts max. And the pogo pin output can do 21.5 volts at 4.65 amps for 100 watts max. You got some more information on the back, you can pause this and read it for yourself. This is model number A1902. There you go. All right, let's dig in. So I was trying to kill my power bank and the fastest way to do that is to hook a laptop up to it because 65 watts of output, man, that 12,000 mAh goes fast. But the thing is, I can recharge it fast too, so it's it's almost kind of uh <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty freaking sick, dude. Alright, so we got the little bait. Wow. That is heavy. We've got some stuffs in here. Pull that out. We got the instruction booklet. I'm not even gonna read that. I'm gonna add to my anchor prime collection. I got too many anchor things. Alright, let's check out the base that is i cannot get over how heavy that is which is cool because it should make it towards it stays you know oh nice i saw someone say something about that so it's got the standard there's two different versions of this you got the one with the flat side and a round side or like a flat side round side uh, and then you got the one with just the two round so this is the two round because people are saying this cable is really short now honestly ideally i would have one of these at home near my front door and then I have one of these at work. Uh, right now, I'm just going to have one on my uh, microwave, which is right by my front door. Because our kitchen... Uh, whoever designed our apartment was like, oh, we forgot to add a kitchen. Let's just throw one over here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an awfully poorly designed kitchen. So on my tiny little viewfinder, I can't really s tell if you can read all that. All right, so we have the front here. Nothing on this side. We got the two USB-C. So this one you'll want to use if you have a laptop. Because that does 100 watts. This one does 30 watts. This one does 18 watts. And then the power. So I've got this pretty cool little power meter here. And uh, we're going to see what happens. All right. So we have the little base right here. We have a freshly killed zero battery power bank here. And all we're going to do is simply just see how easy. Oh, nice. We've got a little light that's glowing down here. Okay, so what? Maybe I didn't. It's on there good, but you can't really tilt it back. <laughs> it's on there pretty good. Like it picks up that pow the base. All right, so the wall outlet here. You can see that it's drawing 49 watts from the wall. 
and the power bank is charging at 45 watts. So that's pretty cool. It says it's going to take 52 minutes in that current state. And this little light is currently pulsing. It's pulsating. Now what I'm going to do is uh, do a time lapse because this should pick up in the charge rate and go faster. Because I know wired, I've seen the fastest like 61 watts of input. It's pretty cool. I like this. Like a little P and then 45 watts. So yeah. All right, so I went ahead and completely killed it. It started the time lapse, and now we're almost full. Just like when you're wired charging, there is a like period where it says it's 100%, and even the little light down here isn't pulsing anymore. But you can see that it's drawing 10 watts, and that number has been going down. And the time lapse, you're going to see from literally start to finish, so I ain't worried about it. But before we wrap up this video, I'm going to hook up a tester to the... Oh, there we go. Boom. All right, we are 100% done charging now. Uh, there's a little LED light, so it's gonna draw like, you know, a watt or so to power that light. But we are fully done charging. It's 11.04 and yeah, that's freaking, that's freaking awesome. Uh, I did come in here and check on it and it said it was charging at 65 watts. So you actually can charge this guy faster using this dock than you can using a wire, which is pretty freaking slick. I like it. Oh, shoot, that wasn't even recording a time lapse. It was actually just full on recording. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now we can just take this off and uh, it's ready to go wherever we want to go. That's 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 pretty slick. All right, we're gonna connect up this little guy to the port here. All right, so we're gonna detect all the protocols this sucker has. Interesting. I've not seen the uh, SAM one, I don't know what that is. All right, so we have FCP, 12 volts, two amps. We have uh, whatever the heck that is. I don't even know. <laughs> We've got 12 volts, two amps there. For the quick charge 3.0, there we go. PD3, we got PPS, 3.3 uh, to 11 volts at three amps. So no super fast charging 2.0. This will not 45 watt charge your freaking s23 ultra s22 ultra or any of those so that's unfortunate now let's go ahead and try the other port and see what that does so i'm just going to run through these real quick definitely positive one of these is important to you still three amps on the and then that one doesn't show anything Well, alrighty then, there you go. So if you're charging a battery bank, obviously it's gonna split that power. This can only do 100 watts total. So if you're wanting to charge the battery base and you connect a device up, it's going to split that power. Now with the one that I have that only charges at 65 watts, you do have some additional power to play with. So you could connect like a phone and charge your phone at 30 watts and you should still get 65 watts of output. Now with the bigger power banks, if you were to dock it, you get 100 watts of input. But if you connect something else, that power is going to be split. They actually have a graph on their website that shows exactly what happens when you plug in certain things. So mainly for me, this is literally going to only be used to dock my battery bank. And then before I head out to grab it and it's fully charged. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. I've also been posting on my YouTube community page, so make sure you check that out every once in a while as well. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.